Hello and welcome back to Caves of Code. Um, I had a pretty eventful episode. I uh, got lost in the ruins, found myself in one of the worst situations, but uh, apparently it wasn't all that bad because I had the tools to make it out. And then I had the um, hubris to squander it all completely. But I went back and reclaimed most of the best gifts I had received from uh, that expedition. And now we are toting a uh, laser chain turret as well as some other goodies. We have a floating glow sphere, which is nice. And a uh, we got ourselves a nylon body pack. So I have some more carrying capacity for carrying all my junk. And uh, we have 13 AV looking pretty good um yeah i mean like it's it's been it's been good i i haven't really been like out and about all that much and i've already found some really nice stuff so i'm pretty content with all of that uh we have a graffiti trying to give give petter the random kin of vimes graffiti is scrawled across the surface that reads it goes can you fell the moistness of the shady wood and fiberglass that's a good one i've never seen a graffiti shrine before oh no that's a really bad thing to find i think we're okay that was, uh, I can't remember what they're called. Waveform worm. Those are really nasty. There's like no way to avoid that damage. Um. Someone threw something? Who threw an artifact? We bonded? Okay, we're good. Someone... Something just clicked. Oh, God. I think we just took out two things at once. Maybe? I don't know. We're still in dueling stance. So I'm going to swipe this turret. Uh, we disarmed it. Good stuff. I'm just going to fight this other one. Very good. Very, very good. We get a lot of solar cells. I guess the turret tinkers like to play with solar cells. And we are, uh, we're not on the surface. So actually it's a really dumb idea setting up turrets with solar cells here because they're not actually gonna recharge that way. Uh, not, nothing too exciting. All right, let's go down a floor. I could have checked out that clay jug. A clay jug, I, I suppose. We got, um... Acid ants. They're still worth quite a bit of XP. Oh, we got livid creepers. I do love me some livid creepers. There we go. Traipsing Mortar is definitely the spiciest thing, but we might be able to get ourselves a rocket launcher here. Not sure I've ever played with a rocket launcher. Uh, I did manage to disarm the Traipsing Mortar, so we get to see what they are toting. I've never actually uh, had an opportunity to find out. I know they have HE missiles, but I'm not sure what they actually use for a gun. So we have Strange Tubes. Mortar tube. Oh, mortar tube. That's what they use. They use a mortar tube. What kind of weapon is this? Heavy weapon. We're going to be getting a lot of heavy weapons, I think. And uh, we have some HE missiles. We could actually play around with this a little bit. Kind of want to. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. And HE miss. Oh, that's a jacked laser pistol. Uh, replace the cell, remove the cell, and then these are HE missiles. Strange plant, these are going to be sower seeds, we'll drop those. 
I mean, they're they're nice and all, but I don't think they're like super good. So we have a mortar tube. We've reloaded it, and we are we are toting boyo. Boom! <laughs> Got to reload it each round. Honestly, they're not even doing a very good job of killing a livid creeper. So, you know, interesting, but not particularly useful, I don't think. I'd rather use my jacked chain laser. Still, I mean, uh, I, I have to uh, revel in the, in the novelty a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and treat these as scrap and disassemble it. I gained a level. Nice. I need at least once one more, and then uh, I should be able to get the next heavy weapon effect, which is really important. Losing that movement speed is just kind of brutal. You're famished. I'm really, um, I'm actually really happy with this run so far. This campaign and series in general, I've done more experimenting with different builds than I have in maybe any other series. And it's been a lot of fun. I love getting a double kill. That's so good. Okay, we're good here. We'll head down to the next floor. More livid creepers. Honestly, that's what I'm here for. At this point, is it's livid creepers. We do need grenades. If I want to have a chance at uh, Bethesda Sousa, it would be good to have grenades. There's so much dust flying all the time. Okay, it clicks. So I'll switch to aggressive stance and I'm gonna that's gonna be my like go-to for a while The only time it's really gonna matter um, Is like if we encounter something with high agility high DV That'll be the one time that we don't want to be in aggressive stance and maybe be in um, dueling stance To actually like do damage to hit I guess that's when we're going to be fighting uh, the ferrets in the eater nectar. Or so the, the, the eater of the... What, what is wrong with my tomb of the, of the eaters? My bad. Okay, swap to doing stance. Swipe. There's a lot of stuff right here. I don't like what's happening. I'm going to leave. Oh, we're in a force field right now. What is causing that? Um, it's kind of a bizarre situation we're in. I'm going to go ahead and sleep gas and then stunning force all those turrets. We seem to be taking damage. I think it's from acid though. Yeah Those turrets are really really trying it. They must be blowing through their their cells though Okay, we can finally escape that prison Let's get back over here. Oh, that's a moth Cool moth is dead Okay, let's come back over here. Oh, why do I keep encountering sawhanders right when they're in front of me? That is like the worst way to encounter them, and I keep encountering them like that. Okay, swipe. Um, I want to get rid of that other turret. And then we want to get rid of that. There we go. Perfect. I think that's a chain turret. Yeah, it is. 
Perfect. Okay, we're safe in a matter of speaking. Okay. Um, you know, it's a little bit spicy, but we're okay. Small trinket. What is it? Lead acid cell. Get that. Get the... We can start treating the solar cells like scrap. And disassemble all. And, um... We can start treating jack laser pistols like scrap. And disassemble all. I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't let me disassemble all. <clears throat> I think I'm done with the, um... Masterwork scoped chain pistol, but I'll probably sell that. This is <clears throat> this is exactly the worst. Did I manage to kill them all? I don't think so. I didn't kill any of them. <clears throat> okay, we're good. That was a lot of XP. We're nearing like level 20. Probably should get out of here pretty soon. I didn't know you can actually like vaporize walls as well. The effect is really cool. Oh, we've got a uh, Hindrin. Okay, let's go to aggressive stance. There we go. We're good. Or is that a pariah? Probably they're a pariah. I'm gonna collect this wine. So I understand that the Hindren only leave their, uh, they only leave Bela when, you know, they're banished. Or it might be like if they leave, they can't come back kind of thing. I don't know where they went. It's fine. All right, we're going to leave. Um, I'm going to go to Jopa and uh, just to set a checkpoint. And uh, and then we will head to the six day stilt and I'm going to hand in my books. Please don't say we're lost. God damn it. Didn't even escape the, the tile. Uh, we're fighting a slumberling. Uh, that's not good. Okay. Sleepy gas. Stunning force. Where'd they go? <laughs> there they are. Laser turret. Perfect. That's 525 XP right there. We have more livid creepers. I keep getting lost, but then I keep getting lost in front of livid creepers. They're kind of like... They're, they're so good. Because they're so easy to kill. They're one of the easiest things to kill for how much XP you get from them. So I am 100% every time I'm going to stop. And I'm going to, to take some time to kill them. We got plus one to each attribute. Uh, oh, more livid creepers. More livid creepers. I mean, the ants are pretty good, too. They're 162 XP each. I just leveled up, and there's, the livid creepers are still worth 500. Okay, um, let's switch to dueling stance. We have a traipsing mortar. What is going on? They, like, I, things are disappearing right in front of me, and I don't... Is it, like, my speed is so bad that they are just that quick? Ouch. Okay, swipe. I disarmed them, good. Um, aggressive stance. Uh, I guess we... The, the universe in which we discovered and examined the mortar tube no longer exists. We're going to treat these as scrap and disassemble. 
Uh, this is an AT missile? No, it's not. It's a combat shotgun. Oh, I love the new tile for that. I don't know if that's new or not, but it looks new. Are we still lost? Yeah, we are. Nice thing about this gun is we're pretty much always guaranteed to have ammo for it because as long as we encounter other turrets, we can disarm them and get their chem cells. And I'm actually kind of um, like pleasantly surprised at how much bang for our buck we get from one chem cell. Yeah, we're lost. I didn't think it was going to make it all the way there. I like how the feral law, usually when it dies, it becomes a feral or a law bloom. But it's like, no, not today, bud. Today, you just become dust. <laughs> oh, the six day stilt would be so much fun with the... Um, with the, the, the laser turret, that's going to be amazing. I know I said I wasn't going to do any salt um, salt combing or dune, uh, desert combing, you know, but um, it's, too, it's, it's really tempting. Okay. Deselect all. No. Hand it in. Oh, delete is accept. We got 600 or 6,000 XP and I'm going to hand in all my books. Give books, all, delete. 11,000 XP, we leveled up. All right, we're level 19. That's probably good enough to go to Bethesda Sousa. Um, close to ni level 19. Like, we've got pretty good AV. I don't know what else we could really do better for AV. Um, we could definitely probably do better with a like a better shield I think would be good um like you know if we had a couple of shields would be nice we've got steel and chain gauntlets those are working out for us chain boots are good uh we don't have any grenades is probably the main thing I'm not a huge fan of also you know I guess carapace does this offer um I wonder if it offers heat protection Yes, it does. So we actually don't have to worry about the uh, heat and cold resistance um, for Bethesda Sousa. That's totally fine. So I think um, one thing we probably want to do, let's talk, let's have a look at what the scam cell uh, drafters have. Freeze grenades. Freeze grenades would be amazing. Um, let's buy that. We could buy... Oh, serrated! Serrated! Point defense drone is also really good, but we aren't going to get the bits to make that for a long time. So one thing, I, I'm not a huge fan of, like, buying really, like, advanced data disks. Also, it means losing our uh, floating glow sphere, and I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, okay... The homo electric wrist warmer would actually be worth keeping, I think. Sheaf of tattered parchment. I should probably have a look at that. I'm going to sell my my cybernetics. Go ahead and sell all of our drained chem cells. Our empty lead acid cell. All of our solar cells. That's a good chunk of money. Oh my god. What? Why? That's a lot of money. Oh my god. Ruin diving with a long blade is like absurdly valuable. I'm I'm making very obvious uh discoveries here. But like I have never seen so much money from like a simple ruin dive. We could actually buy the point defense drone data disk and it wouldn't even dent us, really. Um, should we though? I'm not gonna do that. I still am not gonna do that because I just I like the the, the the defense drone. Don't get me wrong. It's it's nice. 
I just don't think it's um, super valuable. I don't know, like, it's it's good. I just like having light better. Oh, so let's have a look at those data disks. We can't learn these yet, right? We need Tinker 1. Do we have enough to take Tinker 1? We do, and we have enough to take heavy weapons. I am heavy weapons guy. I love those old uh, TF2 vi like cartoons or whatever you want to call them, videos, um, cinematics. They were really good. Okay, we want um, Tinker. Tinkering 1. And I'm going to learn... Liquid Cooled is quite nice. Liquid Cooled would actually be a very good mod for our gun. Let's learn that. I believe I know what it does. We have Freeze Grenade Mark 1. Um, these are very good. Let's have a look at what we can do now. Um, is that K? K is apparently skills. What is Tinkering? Is it P? O? Where's Tinkering? I thought it was K. Let's open. Um, well, I'll have to figure that out later. What? I thought I knew what tinkering was. Okay. So, uh, mod. Let's give something serrated. We could probably afford to give our main weapon serrated. And we have th apparently three carbide longswords. When did we get three? <laughs> uh, we don't have three. What's going on? Also, does this have any effects? Increase pen on critical hits. No, okay. Okay, let's get back to this. Um... Folded, oh, I see. Folded Carbide Battle Axe. Folded Long Sword. We can probably give both of them serrated. Let's just go ahead and do that. Um, the Chain Laser, uh, predictably liquid, giving it liquid cooled is quite expensive. This weapon's rate of fire is increased, but it requires pure water to function. When fired, there's a 1 in 11 chance that one dram is consumed. That's actually not too bad. Um... I think I'd, I think I could live with that. I don't know if I have the bits to repair our carbide longsword, or the uh, skill even. Um, so we got tank. I think I did get tank, right? Yeah. So you no longer suffer the movement pe penalty while wielding a heavy weapon. So this is amazing. Now we are a uh, heavy weapons guy, with wielding four um long blades two of them salt hopper mandibles like we are we are really souped up right now this is one of the craziest builds i think i've ever done in this game um okay so what do we want to do next i mean i still want to have a look at the other skim cells skim drafters so let's have a look at that. This always takes a minute. Okay, so we've got biodynamic cell. That's really good. Biodynamic cell is really, really good and basically guarantees we don't have to um, worry about energy too much what is a ley line puppeteers what the heck is this channel grooves are cut into the gloves static dried palms and the impossible patterns of ley line geometry the fingers articulate at intersecting radials and spin the latent into being is this a thing that just lets us like take control of creatures or something um that that Kind of seems incredible. What does the cast tumbler do for us? I wonder if this would like let us generate more gas. 
maybe? I really want um, this biodynamic cell, and I kind of want the Slaylon puppeteers, but I don't think we can justify that. Um, I don't think I can afford it, for one thing. And also, it just requires bits that I can't possibly get yet. Sell our kudzu. Let's get rid of some of our extra junk. I kind of don't want to give up our carbide longsword just yet. Oh, I meant to dis... Um, Disassemble this resonance mine. Combat shotgun. I meant to give that to the church. Pickaxe. Copper nugget. We'll give up the rusted copper nugget. Okay, well, we've got a bunch of extra water now. You don't have enough water containers. Okay. Do you want to complete the trade? No. Um, let's give... Um, hold back some of our some of our solar cells here boop, 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 boop. there we go uh we have 400 rams right now <clears throat> and we have one more skim seller sorry about that okay um last one Okay, we've got a geomagnetic disc. This is a very good weapon. I think it's been slightly nerfed lately, but only slightly. Fitted with suspensors. What does that do? When powered, this item is weightless. Electrified. Kind of tempted on this one. Oh, it's also only tinkering one. Let's take uh, electrified and flaming. <laughs> Yo, this is, I'm having, I'm having a great time right now. Oh, and let's buy some Witchwood Bark. We have not had any, like, health generating items for a while. Oh, we don't even need to give anything. Let's just, like, give up some of our water here. I am tempted on this geomagnetic disc. Um, it's not super expensive to make. Do we have the money? However, uh, let's give up our HE missiles. I didn't realize we were still carrying those. And actually, I'm gonna... No, we don't need to give up our lead cells. They are free. I don't think that we're gonna get close enough. We have to be a little bit careful because, like, I need some of this energy for my gun. Um, We're pretty close. Pretty sure we could just make the trade here there we're, we're good actually let's i'm not gonna give up the electro bow i want to i want to give that to the mechanists um we probably can't learn how to make the geomagnetic disc and i know we can't make the biodynamic cell right tinker two right but we're gonna learn flaming and we're gonna learn electrified and i'm going to apply both of those to um our swords oh never mind i don't have the bits we, re we we require nanomaterials pretty expensive but um shouldn't be too bad uh we can just do some more like ruin uh diving get get those bits if we get a little bit deeper and uh find some more like uh you know difficult turrets then we can just disarm them and get some more bits um, so it shouldn't be too bad. The long sword really does make getting more bits a lot easier. It pairs really well with tinkering. I, I never, like, I know, I know people probably told me this, but I, I didn't realize the extent of how, how well they pair. Uh, I am going to go ahead and you, you can uh, get mad at me if you want, but I'm going to throw, uh, uh, off those cool masterwork scopes chain pistol into the technology hole. Um, it's almost worth an achievement to do so, but not quite. 
<laughs> you can throw the cute girls in instructions encoded in there. Oh, uh, that would be that would be brutal. All right, let's throw both of those down there. Okay, we're on we're on good terms with the uh, mechanists. All right, well that's gonna do it for this episode. Um, we're pretty close to go into Bethesda Sousa. I think I'll do one episode of ruin diving before I, you know, make take the plunge into Bethesda Sousa so that we can try and get some more bits and maybe some more equipment. Um, I'm pretty happy with what we've got, but, uh, you know, we can always do better. Before I end this, I think I'll just throw some points into something. What should we throw some points onto? Probably sleep gas generation. There we go. And um, our build is looking pretty good. I don't think I'll need or want to put any more points into precognition. It just increases the round, the the like how long it is, and becomes a basically its own checkpoint in a way. Um, stunning force is the only one that I might consider upgrading, and also yeah, increases stun save difficulty is a good reason to upgrade that. But I don't know. We'll we'll see. But anyway, if you are enjoying this, all that business. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.